In this video, let me show you how to insert your data inside a map in Excel. And for what kind of map? Well, maps like countries or also states, like here, the states of United States, or also Brazil or the region of France. And also in France, there is a specificity. You can also divide each region by what we call a department like this and as you can see Excel is able to draw all the shape of the department and that's not finished I'm going to show you also how to draw the postcode or zip code in function of the value of the zip code so as you can see it works perfectly well it works because the way to order your data is very important so maybe you have already tried and it doesn't work in your case. So let me show you all the tricks to be able to insert your data inside maps. So first, let's draw a map chart for this value, the population for these countries. So I select my data and it's very simple when you insert your data inside a table like this and then insert maps like that. So it works, but it's not perfect because here I don't represent the population, but the year as value. In fact, what is the problem here? The problem is the fact that the colon with the country is not next to the colon with the population. So it's very important when you draw a map chart to have the value you want to represent close to the value you want to display in your map. So I have to change this. So I delete my chart and I switch the colon and I put the year in first position like this. And again, I reselect my data, insert map charts like this. And here it's perfect. And also to represent the value inside your map chart, you click here, data label like this. So you can also change the representation of your map chart. So I double click on this area. And very important, you have to select the series population. The population, it's always a colon you want to represent here. Why is this? It's because I display a new option here where I can, for instance, map projection, change the way to represent the data. Like this. Or like this. Or like this. And also, if you want to change the color, you can go here and change the shade between two colors. Or what I prefer, it's directly to go here in the tab Chart Design and select one of the colors, like this or like this. And now let's draw the American states. So here. I have in colon A the state's name and colon B again the population. So what I have to do here is to select all this data and this time because it's not in a table I have to select them manually like this. And then insert, map and I draw. So this time there is a problem because as you can see the representation I display the whole world and I just want to have a focus on the American states. So how I can solve this? Well, once again, I have to select the series of this chart. And here, series option, map area, I select only region with data. But here the representation is not exactly what I want. This is because I have some countries like Guam or American Virgin Island in my data. So let's remove this information. So if I remove all this information from my map, what's happened now? You can see that automatically the map represents only the states of America and you can see that Alaska is just under the chart and not above. And again, if I click here and I select the data label, I have the population for all the states of United States. And now let's see what's happened for another countries and United States. You will be surprised. So here it's a French region and I select them. I insert a new map chart. And I have nothing. And when I click on the eye for information, you can see that we have plot only 8% of the location. 
And of course it's not possible because the name of the region is correct. So what is the problem in this situation? Well, in fact, there is two problems. I show you. So the problem is that for Bing Map, the tool used to draw the map chart, they don't know all the region in the world. So we have to specify in a colon the name of the country. Like this. And now let's try what's happened. Still no difference. So what is the problem now? In fact, the problem is the header. Yes, because for Microsoft, a region is a country. Not good. What is a subdivision of a country for Microsoft? It's a province. So I change the name. And just like that, you can see that now I have France, the first column, and also the subdivision, the region, well, the province, even if it's not the official name for the subdivision in France. And now what's happened for the subdivision inside a region? That's what we call department. Here again, as you can notice, I have added a column with just the name of the country in first position and here the name of the department. I select all these values And it works. But now, if I change the name and I don't write it in plural, but just department without the S, look at this. It doesn't work at all. So as you can see, the fact to write your header with an S or not, it's very critical for your map chart. It's because in United States, they always write the colon states with an S. There is more than one state. So each time when you have to fill a colon for a subdivision, you must put an S. And now let's try with the zip code. So as you can see, I respect the hierarchy between the states, county, city and zip code. It's very important when you want to use them for your map chart. So I select all of them. And insert, let's see, maps. So this time it takes a little bit more time because there is a lot of data to analyze and to compute. But it's coming and you can see now big map drawing all the shape of the zip code for California. It works. And a final trick. Let's say you want to do a report for Brazil and for all the subdivision of Brazil. Do you know all the states of Brazil? Personally, I don't. But we can use data type for this task. I show you. So I create a new worksheet. And here I'm just going to write Brazil like this. And then I go to data type, data, data type, geography. And I click here. I have to specify that I want the country of Brazil here. And you can notice a flag before the name Brazil in the cell. That means I have linked this name with a database in the world. And when I click on this option, I have a lot of property for Brazil and I have the property subdivisions. And just like that, I'm able to return all the subdivision of Brazil. Very simple. And again, I select all this data now. I click again on this icon and this time I select population. So as you can see with this trick, it's very easy to return all the subdivision and the population of a country that you have no knowledge. And now let's draw the map chart. So let's say I want to select all this information and I keep the information data type. That means a flag in the cell. And I click here, insert, map. Automatically it works. 
And maybe for you, the trick is not obvious because here, as you have noticed, I didn't write in the first column the name Brazil. I just use the data type to draw directly my chart. It's because when you work with data type, not only you have the information you have in the cell, but also all the relationship you have between this value, so that means the name of the region in Brazil, and the name of the country. It's automatic. So this is the conclusion of this video. I hope I give you a lot of information to be able to draw your map chart properly. See you.